So you wanna know how solar panels save you money. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how solar buyback programs work, how you can use them to eliminate your electric bill, and how the programs are changing in 2024, and what you need to do to still get the best return from your solar investment. how do solar panels actually help you save money? And really it, it all revolves around a solar buyback program or what we call a net metering program. Now, for a, a traditional electric customer with no solar panels, your relationship with the power company is simply a one-way relationship. They send you electricity, they run it through a meter so they can measure how much comes through, and then they sell you, send you a bill at the end of the month for whatever quantity of energy your home consumed. But when you have a net metering program or a solar buyback program, your relationship with the power company becomes a two-way relationship. During daylight hours, when you have abundant sunshine and the solar panels are producing, you can directly power your house with solar and you can sell your excess solar electricity back to the power company. Typically, your peak solar production is gonna be in the middle part of the day when the sun is directly overhead. Many times, people aren't even home during these hours and the home is not consuming much electricity. So in this case, all that excess electricity can be exported to the power company, which actually runs your meter backwards or it accrues credits on your account. And then during the evening hours, you can just pull that energy back in from the power company using the credits you built up during the daylight hours. And ideally, if you're on a one-for-one -one net metering program, everything will balance out. You'll send enough extra credits to them during the daytime that it covers what you pull back in at nighttime so that at the end of the billing cycle, everything nets out to zero. Now, one of the things that we've been seeing changed in the past year, and, and if you who've been following the channel for a while know about this, is that the utilities are changing their solar net metering policy or their solar buyback policy. And so for where it used to be an equal one for one exchange, one kilowatt hour sent back is one that you can pull back in. They're going now to more of an, a separate import export rate, where in some cases you may have to send the power company three or four units of energy for every one that you get to pull back in. And so folks, obviously this is not what we want, right? What we want is what we call net metering 1.0 or one for one equal net metering so that whatever you send them, you can take all of that energy back without having to pay any penalty for it. But I hate to say that the trend is now that we're going away from the true one for one buyback to more of this three to one or four to one. And of course, this is being led by California. California is considered the trendsetter when it comes to utility solar net metering policy. And we've already seen a number of other states already follow suit, whether you're talking about Ohio, North Carolina, uh, a number of states are eliminating the one for one net metering in favor of this more discounted rate where you have to send them three, three units for every one unit you can pull back in. So what do you do in this case if you still wanna save the most amount of money with your solar panels? Well, the solution is to install battery storage with your solar. Now, when you install battery storage with your solar panels, during daylight hours, you can still directly power your home off the solar electricity, and you can use the excess solar electricity to charge a battery or to charge an array of batteries. And so that, that battery acts as like an, a fuel tank or an energy storage tank, if you will, so that after evening hours, after sunset, and the solar panels are no longer producing, you can simply draw energy off the battery to power the home throughout the night. So you don't have to worry about buying and selling back and forth with the power company. Now you essentially become your own power company. You harvest energy from the sun during daylight using solar. The house pulls whatever it needs directly from solar during daylight hours. All the extra solar gets dumped into a bank of batteries. Then you run the house off of batteries at nighttime. And then the next day, the solar panels take over and recharge the battery. And you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need day in and day out. And this is where you, you end up being totally energy independent, or at least getting to a point where the power company is now the, the, the electric provider of last resort. Primarily, you're running off your own solar direct on the daytime or solar that was charged into a battery at nighttime. Now, of course, the other advantage of having a storage battery or a, a solar battery connected to your solar panel system is that now you have a secure emergency backup power source as well. So let's say the utility service went down. If you have solar panels with a battery backup, 
it doesn't really matter because again, you can run your home directly off of solar panels during daylight hours. You can draw off the battery at nighttime and then the next day the solar panels take over and recharge the battery. And that cycle can be repeated days, weeks, or even months at a time. And of course, I think there's a tremendous advantage of that type of a backup power system or that type of an independent renewable energy system compared to a backup generator. You know, with a backup generator, you have to feed it fuel, which you either have to have pre-purchased in a propane tank, or you have to pay for it metered from a natural gas utility. So you're still not really energy independent because you're still depending on that fuel to come in from somewhere. Uh, by the way, go ahead and post a comment below if you have a fossil fuel burning generator and maybe considering tying that in with a solar panel system. Now, the fifth thing that we've seen come up in the past year is the integration of electric vehicle charging with the solar power system. And so there's two ways that this can help save you money. The first is, of course, if you're able to produce your own electricity with solar and you're using that electricity to charge your vehicle, you're saving on gasoline, you're saving on you know, fuel expense as well. So there's a direct savings there. But one of the advents in the technology that we've seen spring up in 2023 and now going into 2024 is that the electric vehicle charging is becoming bi-directional, meaning that not only can you charge the electric vehicle from the home or from solar panels, if you have solar panels powering your home, but in some cases you can actually pull energy out of the electric vehicle battery either to sell back to the power company if there's a, a peak rates where you can actually sell the electricity and make a profit to the power company uh, or if you need a whole house backup solution and you don't want to buy more expensive home standby batteries so the electric vehicle essentially becomes a type of solar storage battery which can be used both for selling back to the grid and for emergency backup purposes, which again means you don't necessarily have to buy a separate generator and you don't have to buy fuel for that generator. So this has been a discussion of five ways that solar panels save you money. Uh, as always folks, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way as we have these new videos coming up, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at solar panel and battery storage options for your homes, uh, if you need to get a price quote or maybe if you already have a quote, if you need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the best deal, um, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a call with a solar expert uh, or just use the free online calculator tool so you can find out how much solar and storage costs in your area. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net. <music>